I continue the technique that uh, one, uh, one of the three techniques that we use. This is second, or maybe more difficult than the technique to control pace. It's a soil improving technique because most of the farmer use improved soil by using chemical fertilizer. They believe that chemical fertilizer is really good. It increases uh, fertility, increases yield, and no poison at all. It's uh, all good as much as possible. This is uh, a mistake because we found that the chemical fertilizer is destroy soil and make a lot of trouble. So we have another technique that better than chemical. And more than that, we don't use any compost, don't use any dung, don't use any green manure. We do nothing. Just some necessary technique only that I've been shown later.那相對於剛剛講的病蟲害這個方法也不用做堆肥,你也不用做牛糞,反正因為堆肥很累很苦,這個方法是都不用那麼累,所以他待會就是要介紹現在就是說如何增強土壤的肥力。This is a common practice of the chemical farmer. Uh, the left side is a burning rice straw. It's common practice because they grow two or three times per year. So it hurry up, burning. And believe that if you not burn the rice straw, the soil is difficult to plowing. And uh, it's a cause of the fungus, the cause of the insect infection is much burning. And not worry about the uh, uh, fertilizer because we can put as much as possible in the chemical fertilizer. This is uh, the main cause of the uh, soil that dead because you burning them, you burn organic matter, you burn everything. So you have nothing left, but you put the chemical fertilizer because you think that chemical fertilizer can replace the rice straw. It's stupid because rice straw has all elements that rice need, at least 16 elements or mineral. But Chemical fertilizer have only one or two or three only. It's nonsense that you can replace them. It's nonsense. Uh, 剛剛各位看到這張圖, 就是現在的很多一般的做法, 那最, 最靠, 最遠的那一邊就是在燒稻草。稻草是滋生病跟菌元素那你說化學肥料有時候只有一種最多就是氮磷鈉就只有三種可是在這個稻草裡面其實含有稻米需要的十五種元素而且你又把有機質都燒掉了The second cause is a chemical fertilizer that you apply to the soil uh, Above you have two kinds of fertilizer that the Thai farmer use The one is urea, this left side uh, is a 46 silo, silo. What does it mean? It means that in 100 kg of this fertilizer, there are 46 nitrogen, silo phosphorus, and silo uh, potassium. It means that this gives you only nitrogen only. 
and the right side is a sixteen twenty zero. It means that you get nitrogen and phosphorus only, no potassium. It means that both that you apply only have two element or two mineral only, but the rice need at least sixteen. What happened that you always use only two, 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 and can improve soil? You can imagine. Cannot. It's a what you call? It's a myth. It's an illusion that you dream that you can put mineral fertilizer to fertilize soil. Um. 中间看到的那个是十六零零，当然就是代表的是氮、磷、钾，那表示氮呃是这个尿素一般的尿素，右手。那氮也是十六，磷、磷、钾也是磷。那右边哦，十六二十磷，表示氮有十六啊，钾有二十，没有磷。呃，氮、磷、钾，对不起，氮、磷、钾哈，二十，然后钾、钾肥是零。呃，那所以呃，这一的意思是说。其实稻米需要十六种这样的营养素，你只有两种，或是甚至只有一种，怎么有怎么这个稻米怎么可能长得健康呢 ？So why we, why when you use the chemical fertilizer, but the rice is very good yield. Where another mineral come from? It come from the soil, because the soil have all mineral that they need, that come from all all. all uh, organic matter that um, collect from ancient time, but when you use only two or three of them, and they sucking the nutrient that you don't put in, all the small nutrient mineral it deplete less and less and less until gone. So you can find that after you use long time chemical fertilizer, the soil is harder and harder. And more acidic or salty, it destroy because this uh, all the troy process, but maybe long, but you can notice that it's more harder and more acidic or more uh, salty. So because soy is a loss of the uh, mineral that they need, that caused by the chemical fertilizer. This is the main cause of the uh, soil that dead after use chemical fertilizer. So in the soil, we first know these chemical compounds. If you use these chemical compounds, you only have two types, one or three types. Where do the other 13 types come from? That is from the soil, especially the soil. These soil compounds come from the soil, and they 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 come from the soil. 那呃，土壤也越来越硬化，因为有机质也在减少，那土壤也开始酸化，所以这个土壤的一个等于说土壤的健康就一直一直一直减低。More than that, when the soil is acidic, it's more acid. pH is lower and lower. It can fix the nutrient that has in the soil, but you cannot use it because it's fixed by the acidic. So the scientist said, "Oh, no worry. If you are have acid soil, just Put the uh, the contrast is so they put the lime to correct the pH to normal to seven. It's very good idea because it's easy. Apply the lime can increase the pH. It's no problem because it's now it's no acidic anymore. No, because when acid and lime come together, it became salt and water. It's more salty that you cannot correct it anymore. It's very simply that you correct acid by lime because you make it salty. More salty is more dangerous than acid itself. 呃，当然刚刚提到另外土壤硬化以外，另外问题就是土壤酸化。那当然土壤酸化会产生几个严重的问题。第一个是土壤酸化的时候，你土壤的营养元素事实上没办法释放给植物吸收。土土壤这营养元素会因为你土壤过度酸化被固定住在土壤里面，植物的根部是没有办法吸收这些营养素，这是第一个问题。那当然有人就会说，那土壤酸化那简单嘛，那我就加碱性的东西，比如说石灰，好，有人就会加加类似这样哦，这种石灰是碱性物质，那用酸碱
，等于是酸碱平衡的方式，让酸化的土壤在变回中性。他说这也是。很也是很大的问题，因为酸跟碱结合在一起，就会产生所谓的盐类，哦，就会产生的盐类。那盐类，然后盐类比酸化还更糟糕，你整个土壤就盐化了，哦，那他说其实这个都是错误的方法。So mineral in soil is lower and lower. It is easy to test if you test the vegetable the same by the soil that chemical fertilizer put. And the natural fertilizer let like compost and dung put, and you compare the taste of this organic or chemical. You can taste easily that the organic one is very tasty. You can know even the fruit, everything you can taste easily. It means that the organic one have all element that make flavor easily. You can taste. Nobody deny. Easily test, not uh, waiting until the scientist said, "Oh, it's the same." The same is cheating because you can test by yourself, not waiting for anyone to tell you that it's good or not. Just testing. He said, "How do I know the soil is not good? The soil is not good. 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 有机质丰富的，就是等于是一般有机，应该说，呃，土壤酸化，其实去吃它的东西就知道了。一般就是，呃，有机质丰富跟堆肥丰富所种出来的，不管是水果还是稻米，那个风味，因为有所有的营养素都足够，那个风味跟整个口感是比化学的这些过度已经土壤已经被破坏的种出来的东西好吃太多了。这个不用等什么科学家还要拿去测验，就其实相信自己。The lower is a, a chemical that is exercise, pesticide, herbicide, every chemical that they use in the right field, all the soy soil because it's poison. Some insecticide is uh, applied in the soil and absorbed to the soil and absorbed to the rice, like carbofuran. It's contaminated a lot and kill everything in the soil, even earthworm, everything kill. Herbicide that you apply to the soil to control pest, control weed, kill all. And you continue using more and more. Imagine what happened to the soil. It kill, kill, kill every, every day. So the chemical soil never have earthworm at all. No. And mechanism is less, left only the bad mechanism that caused the fungus, caused the or uh, virus that cause the disease of the plant only. This is uh, all main three, three causes of the soil destroyer, soil destroyer, not soil improvement. So this is a cause. In the research, how to protect the soil, we need to understand how the soil is destroyed. The three main reasons is that it is destroyed. The first reason is that it is destroyed. The second reason is that it is destroyed. The third reason is that it is destroyed. The fourth reason is that it is destroyed. The fifth reason is that it is destroyed. The sixth reason is that it is destroyed. The seventh reason is that it is destroyed. The eighth reason is that it is destroyed. The ninth reason is that it is destroyed. The tenth reason is that it is destroyed. The eleventh reason is that it is destroyed. 呃，微生物下来变得很差，那往往是甚至是一些不好的微生物留下来，那这些不好的微生物就会造成我们稻米田里面常常有的这些所谓的呃这些病害。This the picture of the the native forest or the virgin forest in Thailand. They were cut, they develop for million years, and the soil is very good because no chemical, and the soil is Fertilized by the leaf, by the living thing that decay, die, and mechanism for just digest them to the fertilizer. All very good. So we believe that the best soil in the world is the in the virgin forest, especially the tropical rainforest that very very the worst. So I know nothing about soil, but I know that. The soil in the forest is the best. So when we have the best soil or the dead soil, we want to make our soil as good as the soil in the forest. What we can do? 
Easy, just copy, just copy. Make is uh, what you call the the printer. Uh, bring that and printing on the our soil to make our soil is look like the soil in the forest. It's a very simple uh, idea that you must find the technique that pr provide this idea to be true in your land. So you can get the best land in your country because it's a forest land, virgin forest land. This picture is a forest land. He said that it's 甚至几百万年来这些树叶复制到我的我我的农田里面。So we try to make prototype of the best soil from the forest. What we do? We just go to the forest to looking for the best soil, that the top soil. You know, in forest, the best soil is the top soil that very narrow. It's not much. Maybe five inch, four inch, really narrow. But that's the best one. Can make the tree big. Not much, but very, very good. So you take that soil from the forest, a little bit, just half hour, half kilogram, or one kilogram, not more than that, back to your farm. Because you can get the prototype that make your soil is best, that, like a sample. Because in that good soil, there are microorganisms like a factory of the, the fertilizer maker inside that turn the leaf to be the best fertilizer in the world. You need that factory. You need that microorganism that work for you. You can bring from the best soil. You can get the best microorganism that you can use it to make the best fertilizer for your soil. This is a simple principle. So, like, uh, what, 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 去把原始森林的土壤采回来帶一個肥料工廠回來,那些微生物就是你最好的肥料工廠,你等於是到裡面把這些土拿回來,就等於是搬一個搬一個肥料工廠回家用,來來生產肥料給我土用。So you just collect one by one 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 sample one person that this uh, prototype or the uh, starter of the good soil but you need mechanism in the soil, not the soil themselves. So you take some soil only. So after this, you multiply the mechanism that live in the soil as much as possible to put in your best soil. Let them live in the best soil to make good fertilizer for you. This is the principle. So you must multiply the mechanism in the soil for use for your land, for your soil. 這張照片看到各位看到這個地上的就是他們到原始森林裡面去採集的這些土壤 
So I two method to multiply them, the right method. You see, this method try to multiply the mechanism as uh, same as the prototype as much as possible by using the leaf, the dry leaf. We use bamboo leaf; is a uh, very good, and some sugar is a uh, sweetening one for the food of the mechanism and the water a little bit like you make a compost but it takes only seven days you can get this is very good uh, multiplication of the mechanism if it's good it uh, must be white it's uh, plenty of fungus it's a good it's red black is brown is not so good so you're looking for this sign of the good mechanism but not only fungus you have a lot of things inside, but this is easy to notice because you can see easily. This is the size of the good uh, sample of the soil that you can use more than this. So I bring the plant back. Actually, I just talk about the plant. The plant is the plant. The plant is the plant. The plant is the plant. 就是這個竹葉子然後再加糖蜜再加一點點水就有點像做堆肥一樣其實是養那個微生物菌那白色就是好的微生物菌如果其他顏色黑色啦或者是紅色啦這個都不是好的微生物菌我要去聞你可能味
until we imagine that all oh, the technique of the Japanese is separate. They bring a lot of samples of the soil and analyze that. The soil number one has how many mechanisms? And they choose which one they like. They take only one or two and throw away the rest. Sample number two, again, pick only the one that they like and throw away the rest. Or oh, they pick the best from each sample and make it the team. They claim that this team is the champion. Very effective because the champion come together. The question is, the champion is the team or not? The champion is the team or not? Everybody is a star. Nobody wants to be the helper. I am the star. So I don't believe that the good team must come from only the best. No. They must work together as a team that we don't know. We don't know they can compatible or can help each other or not because they cannot speak. We just put together, together and said it's the best one. But they don't know each other. They come from anywhere. But our sample, they live together for a million years and prove that this team can make the soil best. Already, not proof. They prove for a long, long time. No question. No waste of time. No experiment. It proof already. And not pay any, what's called, the money, the time, the everything. No, no expertise. The farmer can do. But the result is more better than the EM, more than the Korean. This is uh, easy. Why you don't use this? Because this can apply everywhere. You live here, you go to the forest here and test here. It's best. Don't go to Thailand, <laughs> it's not fit. So this you can apply forever. So this cheap, easy, so everything. So it's work because we just observe the nature and we just experiment and we believe the result, we don't buy. So what is best, we use that. But it's best, so we do this, it's over. So we don't pay at all for this. One liter of EM in Thailand is about 90 baht or 90 Taiwan dollar. I don't know how much here. But this method, when we make ourselves one liter, half baht, half baht is 180 percent oh, depart. So why you don't use our technique that really cheap and effective and easy and can you uh, apply forever? Why depend on the EM or Anything, I don't know. But this is our technique that depends on the nature and proof and use it. It's easy. Uh, Tangtangzo 它们的菌相好非常的多等于是可能全世界的好土壤而且这农友就可以自己做了
一定要要要要博士学位或是硕士学位都不需要。他说在泰国一公升的医院区要卖到九十块，他自己做不到一块钱，就是不到一块钱，那是一百八十倍的价格的差别，又便宜又有效。然后也不用担心来源，你只要到身体里面去采就有了。哦，它所以这是他们的方法。So we can see the sample that we use, the left, the common farmer, they're plowing to make the soil loose and soft and put maybe EM maybe the fertilizer to make fertilize. But our method is no plowing. You see, no plowing. This just uh, what you call the Will that make the rice store down under the water only to touch the microorganism that we put in here? It's a button that we just dropping microorganism liquid. Follow when you put down the water, it drop to fertilizer. You know how how long? Seven day or ten day only. All the rice store became composed by themselves. You just sleep when you awake. Oh, composed. Already, so you can transplant it. Easiest, and you know the soil is more softer than this. A lot you can ask him because he go to the the field that heavy plowing, and this never plow for six years. Ask him which one is more softer. It can prove easily. 另外一个那个土的另外一边就是翻土，翻得很深。那右边来讲，那不是翻土，他们在做的其实只是你稻稻稻草收割完，那只是让把那个上面的那个翻下去，所以它的放微生物菌能够，不然稻草在上面微生物菌吃不吃不到嘛？它只是只是让上右边那个不是在翻土，它只是做一个表面上把那个稻秆啊，就是切完的稻秆翻到水里面，让它浸在水里面，所以微生物菌就可以把这些稻秆分解，所以它事实上是没有没有做任何的翻土。那呃，但是他刚刚讲的例子是我,我去泰国的时候到他们田里面，呃，那个没有翻土，他说六年都没有翻土。那我其实最大的差别是踩到他们那个田里面啊，脚踩下去，当然那土非常松软。最大的差别是你脚拔起来的时候上面没有土。你去田里面，你脚踩上去，那一寡头底下挡过口，你你打两个你也没没有办法走了。在他们田里面是你脚脚踩下去，你脚再拔起来，没有土。就是代表它的整个的有机体有机，它不会不会不会粘土啦。你不粘土就是很沙嘛，可是它也不是，好，就是一点都不粘。那其实其实这东西就是都不需要不需要拿到什么学位，拿到什么啊，你你就是在里面去采摘就知道了。那它只要再再提的就是六年都没有翻土，那只是靠微生物像的这样的一个做法。So what happened after you fertilize soil by Mechanism that come from the forest. Easily, if it fertilize, what happen? When it dry, you have the, a lot of earth. Oh, oh, sorry. Here, you can see some, um, what you call, they come up, the earthworm. Did not come from fertilizer, they come from nature. <laughs> In the field of chemical fertilizer, it's none. They are all dead. There are no organic matter for feed. They are Poison for them. If none, but it's coming. After that, it's coming more and more and more. And every earthworm is the factory of the uh, best fertilizer because in the stomach of each earthworm there are more than 300 species of microorganism. It's a factory. So when they eat the uh, organic matter in the mouth and go on the as huh? it became fertilizer by themselves, it's go all day and all night, millions of them. How much we can get fertilizer all day, all night, never stop all year. It's easy. We sleep, they continue working, and we not pay at all. It's easy for us, <laughs> not buy, but they work by themselves, we don't pay. <laughs> uh, 蚯蚓其实就是最好的肥料工厂，等于是蚯蚓嘴巴吃进有机质出来的大便，就是，呃，那边，好，那边，对不起，对不起，在那边，呃，那当然它就是最好的肥料工厂，哦、呃，把有机质吃进去，那大便出来就是含有三百种以上的微生物像
，而且又不用我们又不用花钱，它就是 Seven Eleven， 二十四小时都为你工作，而且你也不用管理它，好、哦，那个当老板是很累人的，好、哦，那个所以也不用管它，它自己就是都会这样子工作。还有比这个更容易、更简单的方法吗 ？And when it's flooding, that when it dry, you can see the earthworm. Even flood did not die; it's under water. It's easily, but when it flood, when what happened? Another factory is coming. It Asola, you know Asola. Asola is a, some kind of fern. It's a fern that can floating, small fern that have the this tiny uh, place for the microorganism to live. Symbiosis, you know symbiosis. They live together, work together, and help each other. To make nitrogen fertilizer nitrate from the air, they fix nitrogen, nitrogen from the air and make to nitrate, give to the asola, and when the asola dead, became the nitrate fertilizer for the soil easily. But if you have no good microorganism, the asola is dead; it's not coming. You cannot see asola in the chemical field at all. So you have both. Underground, you have the earthworm work all day, all night. On the surface of the water, you have this factory working at the daytime. Enough. After that, your soil is more better and better, better. Easy. And this fern, even you can eat it. It's very high protein. You can eat it. I eat already. <laughs> eat easy. Ah, here, Azo. Azo is a very good one. 哦，就是那个呃，台东改良场有在推广这个满江红，嗯，那它这当然这个时候了，它其实是呃，等于是它是一种氟的蕨类，哦，那这个氟的蕨类，那它是可以呃，就说这些微生物菌跟这个这一个满江红一起共同使用，是可以固定空气中的氮，换句话说，它的营养素就是来自空气中的氮，你不用给它施肥，它自己长大，它是来自空气中的氮，那当然它死了以后，哦，它的它它死了以后，这些叶子就成为我们土壤里面。好的的的营养分来源，所以它的意思就是说，你微生物相好，你这一个满江红才会好。好，你微生物相不好，要长满江红还不容易。我想我们这里有年纪比较大的，以前的田都满是满江红，很多那种绿色的浮游植物，现在都满不完，虽然连有机田都不多。哦，那满江红，那满江红就它就水面上的有满江红，水面下的不，水面呃在地面上的有满江红，然后地面下的有。那个刚刚讲的蚯蚓，那这个每每天都在帮你工作做肥料工厂，啊，就是那是很简单。So the result, nothing, no fertilizer at all, no compost, no dung, no green manure, but we have factory a lot, so you can see a solar is green. This a first month and the third month when have flower, it bloom. Without any spray or any fertilizer, we still sleep. But it's come this. So farmers sleep, <laughs> just sleep, do nothing, <laughs> just waiting, <laughs> waiting for hours. But some guests coming. Why is so beautiful? Why they don't work at all? Why who working for you? Oh, many. We have many labor, but not pay, <laughs> not absent, not not uh, not. Lazy. It's very, very good labor that working for us by themselves. I don't know it's a clever or not for this technique, or you just buy the fertilizer and apply yourself and apply it again and kill the good one. Oh, it's a very, very clever. Huh? This man and they go to death because they are more clever. But don't believe in nature. Don't believe their eye. Just believe their ear that they. Just uh, advertising, they just hear, oh, it's good, good, and bright. This is uh, very clear that it's good. It must be good, you can prove. Don't believe, you prove first. If it's good, just continue, it's over. If not good, just change, try again, another way. But it's good already. Just keep continue. We keep continue more than 10 years, it's more better and better, and we are more lazy, more lazy, because we do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I can come here. Ah, 当然那边是呃远处的那边哈，是第一个月。你看到那个水面上全部都是绿色的满江红。好，那
呃，什么事都没做，三个月以后，哦，你看到他到这个结束，然后有有来访的来宾说，哦，啊，你们请的工人怎么那么认真？那呃，介绍这些工人给我们，他说我们请很多工人呐、啊，啊，这些工人就是在随随便下的蚯蚓，然后随便上的这些满江红，好、哦，那就是，哎，我们也不没有也没有做堆，他们也没有做堆，也没有做堆肥啊，其实做堆肥都很累，好、哦，那个又臭又重，那当然他说一般的。哦，灌型农法还要去花钱，然后花完钱买了肥料来，还要施肥，然后施肥来还要喷农药，然后做那边细，然后还要负债，就是好像然后自以为很聪明，哦，不晓得运用这些大自然的工人，然后反而这个过程中把大自然的工人都都都都杀掉了，那就或许这些人类自以为很聪明，可是完全不用大自然的这些，其实他觉得是没有智慧，那、啊、当然怎么说呢？他们就是。是啊，如果好的话就继续啊，如果不好的话就去修正啊，就依照大自然的智慧好去修正，不好不好就继续，不好就去修正。这已经这种这样实验下来十几年下来，就是其实就事实证明一切。